Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Happy Saturday. We have a lot to talk about because I think, and I'm going to go out on a limb and say this, is that these are the most overpriced cards in FIFA 22 at the moment. The Fantasy Foot cards, these cards continue to be insanely expensive, insanely overpriced, especially considering the time of year that we are in. But... The market is fine with that at the moment, and people are fine paying absurd amounts of coins like 5.8, 5.9 million coins for a brand new Usman Dembele on the game. So I'm going to take a look at these fantasy foot cards from tier number two, talk about, again, why they're so expensive. It does make sense a little bit why they're this high, but I think what really is going to happen in the end is that these cards are going to drop off a lot in value in the next month, but until we get there, these cards are going to maintain a pretty high, high price because... Everybody is hyped about these cards. We also have some very interesting leaks to look over. We have Road to the Final cards. We have another Road to the Final item that has been leaked, and we might be seeing another uh, mini release or small batch of Road to the Final cards um, really soon. I don't know if that's going to be like another promo of itself, but we have the first leak for that today to talk about as well. And there's a lot to look at with the market. If any of you guys bought these fantasy foot cards from team number one, a lot of these cards are going up in value big time, like Stones, like Rusillian, uh, Inaki Williams. A lot of these cards have gone up from the team one that went out of packs. Um, and we're still getting a lot of content for team two of fantasy foot. I'll take a look at the expected SBC for today. Uh, and along with another leaked SBC player that was talked about yesterday and the mini release that we should see tomorrow. So if you do enjoy the videos on the channel, make sure to thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. But let's take a look at the insane cards that we have yesterday once again and just talk about these prices and why they are this way. It, it's the same issue as the team number one that was released last week. These cards, I mean, Coutinho was extinct today uh, at 3 million coins. EA updated his price range uh, to 4 mil. Now he is around that 3 point. Uh, the 3 mil, 3.1 mil price range. I know this card is so cool. I know this card is hype. But again, the main thing that why I'm telling you these cards are insanely overpriced is because the upgrades are basically priced in for these cards already, right? I know that EA is releasing a bunch of insane player items that haven't had special cards this year or not very many. This Coutinho is cracked. Yes, I know Premier League transfer as well. It's really exciting. But what I'm going to tell you right now is we're going to have cards with these exact same, same level of stats in one month's time or one like, like five weeks time during the heart of team of the season cards with stats like this and better are going to be like 300 to 500k instead of 3 million coins that's where the issue is with these cards right now team of the season destroys the market because there's so many cards released and they're so great of stats, weak foot skill move upgrades and a lot of tots cards as well if you go back and look at last year they did a decent amount of those and uh, there's just so many of them. The market just absolutely dies. And especially in this year's market of FIFA 22, cards have been cheaper than ever. But still at the moment, we have these cards that just seem very, very expensive. But it's it's all the hype, right? It's all the hype right now. And EA, EA know what they're doing with this. This is all greatly and perfectly implemented by EA to make people buy um, cards that are very expensive right now with the potential to upgrade, right? They'll they'll have upgrades probably in the next like two to three to four weeks. That's kind of the time frame that we're going to be having with these cards. But of course, once we get to that th third to fourth week, we're going to be talking a lot about team of the season. And these prices are probably going to drop right as those upgrades are coming in in for a lot of these cards so as of right now people are seeing like the end with these cards and that's why they're so expensive they're also really rare on the market again it's perfectly calculated by ea i think this is really just a lot of cards that they're releasing to get people excited about a brand new type of promo but then unfortunately what's going to happen is a lot of people are going to lose coins on these cards as we get into team of the season. So just don't hold these cards for that long. I'm going to talk about it more throughout this week. Um, but again, th these are the hype cards that are on the game right now. And they're releasing really dope special items for a lot of players that haven't had special cards. So it's understandable why, why it's very hyped. And there's not a lot of great SBCs at the moment either um, that are, you know, draining coins off the market to kind of counteract how expensive these cards are as well. Martinelli is 630. All right, nice. He's going up. I got a couple of those just about a, about an hour ago. These guys were kind of reaching low points um, early into this Saturday morning, and they're starting to rebound back just from a little bit of rarity. So you've already seen these cards fluctuate a lot on the market, but a lot of them are very high in price. Not all of them, though. If we take a look at the full team, 
You know, of course, I'm going to look at Usman, Coutinho, Martial, which by the way, Martial has the low, low work rates, which is what we were afraid of. That's a bit of a bummer. But taking a look at this team a little bit more, um, of course, Usman and Coutinho are the most hyped cards, but some really usable upgrades for guys like Martinelli, who got the four-star, four-star, right? He's got a lot of hype. That's dope. Big time fan of that upgrade that they gave him. Insane looking card, to be completely honest with you. Sissoko, decent card as well. Not super insane, but Sissoko is a FIFA player, right? Everybody looks at the six, the 76 acceleration and then not that great agility and balance. And they're like, man, this guy's not going to be good. He's still going to be pretty good in game, in my opinion. Um, I think the Atal card has a nice boost as well. And he's only 229,000 coins, which really isn't that bad. Bamba's pretty cheap for a French left mid. A lot of people are going to go out and, and put him in their teams. I also think this Hin Hincapi is a really good card for a budget Bundesliga team. Bundesliga is not getting a lot of love in this promo, but... Uh, that card looks pretty sick. So again, this was the team. Basically what we saw as leaked and what we talked about in yesterday's video as the leak squad was 100% true, except for Awar, Alvarez, and Marino. And these are expected to be, these three cards are expected to be our mini release tomorrow on Sunday. That's what we expect to see for those items. So the Awar, everybody waiting for that, probably coming in the next two days. Um, you know, mini releases are most of the time on Sunday. Uh, in this game. So watch out for those three cards coming out a little bit later on this weekend. Now, a couple of the other cards that were released, of course, we did have an objective and we had ourselves an SBC. The SBC was a pretty solid one. I honestly think that the Parasitch that we got yesterday is a nice card. Again, you start to think about, especially if you notice the cards on the market are so overpriced because they're rare um, and because it seems like they already have the upgrades priced into them. If this 89 rated Parasitch card was not even live and upgrading and it was on the market, um, I feel like if he was 89 rated, he would be around the price that his SPC is, honestly. Um, really solid item. He is going to be usable in so many different areas of the pitch if you run a Serie A team. 92 pace, 89 shooting. This SPC is coming in at like, what, 100 and Footman says right now it's 150,000 coins for this Parasitch. Potential upgrades for this dude as well. He plays a lot for Inter. Inter doing very well in the Serie A, very likely to get some upgrades, if not a plus three in total, and to um, hit all those upgrade um, qualifications to get that big time plus three, this could be a really, really insane center midfielder or a center attacking mid, or maybe even a left wing back or a left mid in the 3-5-2 or something. This card looks really, really good. So if you're a Serie A team, going to craft this this week, hopefully we get some good player picks to craft that SBC, but that's a really good looking card. That was a pretty solid piece of content yesterday, but not a big enough piece of content to really move the market that much. A couple of your Serie A cards rose, but not that many. And then our objective from yesterday with Lo Celso, that is not a good card. I mean, EA Sports, this is uh, honestly a pretty big letdown. It's not that much work. Uh, seven separate matches, which I think is less than Simon. You had to do 10 separate matches for him. But like comparing this objective from last week to this objective this week, I mean, that's just a huge difference. This card, they needed to give him like plus, he needed to be like 90 passing, 90 dribble, 80 defense, 85, like plus three or four in every single stat category to make this card a lot more usable and something that people would want to grind for. So, you know, I'm a little bit underwhelmed by that one. That's just uh, my opinion there. But that was all of our content for yesterday. Seriously, other than that, I think we had a pack supply SBC. It was honestly a really quiet day in terms of content yesterday. Everybody was ex just excited about the cards on the market, which obviously, as we just talked about, that's kind of what EA wants to focus on at the moment. And that's where the hype was. These brand new fantasy foot cards. Now, of course, we just looked at some prices, right? A lot of the hype for fantasy foot didn't just stop with team number uh, two that was released yesterday. A lot of the team one cards, since the content was not that good, a lot of these cards rose up in value even more. Nani is up like 30,000 coins. He was actually like 540. Um, he's 524 at the moment, but a lot of these cards rose up. Gelson Martins is 540K. He was 480, 475 on Thursday. Kamavinga is up like you know, he was 500k flat as lowest point. He's 575. Stones is up to 540,000 coins. Klosterman has been over 400k. Jimenez is up. Literally all the cards from this team that just went out of packs have continued to rise up out of packs because of the rarity, because of that upgrade potential. And people just want to use these cards, right? They're the new, they're the exciting uh, cards to use 
on this game. So those cards rose very nicely. I know a lot of you guys invested in some of these cards, myself included, right? If you take a look at my transfer list, I've got a healthy supply of some nannies that I got down here at like 499,000 coins. Uh, I did buy some Martinelli tonight. I bought two Lucas yesterday at 760. He is up 100,000 coins. I bought stones at 390. Um, I got Klosterman in the 370. So uh, I did buy a couple of talls tonight as well. But a lot of people invested in those cards. I'm in that boat as well. Uh, and a lot of them have started rising. Now, I made a quick flip yesterday. This one was actually kind of fun. Um, I got this Rashford at 2. 361. So he went up 300,000 coins almost instantly after the content drop yesterday, even with the uh, Martinelli getting a four star, four star boost, which scared me for a bit. But since this is Rashford, since he got that four star skill move upgrade, he bounced back very, very healthily. And then so did Alan St. Maximin. I know we talked about Alan St. Maximin dropping because of the new Dembele that came out. Well, he did drop. He was down at 3.5 mil, but then he exploded upwards, and now he's right around that 4 mil range, kind of where he's been chilling the whole week because Usman is uh, is like 5.8 million coins. So, um, yeah, again, I, I just think that a lot of these cards are overpriced on the upper tier. The lower tier cards, like Atal, like Alexandra, I mean, I mean, I know the Serie A is always like criminally undervalued in this game since the beginning of FIFA this year. The Serie A has, has always just given given out really cheap cards. Like for uh, less uh, demand, less level demand, I don't know. But this card looks really good, I think, for 100 and uh, he was 160K about an hour ago. And now he's about 184. Uh, but I think this team does have really good promo players in it. I know I'm talking about prices being too much and stuff like that. But I think this team has really, really good promo players inside of it. I have no complaints in terms of the players that they have dropped at all. But speaking of market things, a lot of the rest of the market just kind of chilled yesterday. Let's do a quick check through um, the other out of packs cards, you know, foot birthday cards. You've got a lot of these dudes just kind of sliding slightly upwards. Danny Alves is down big time. Um, I wonder if that has anything to do with people changing their teams up a little bit. And especially since the Usman was not a right mid, um, I think that might have hurt this Danny Alves as a lot of people were hoping for that Danny Alves Usman connection. Some people may have invested in that and now he's being panic sold. But Atal is a big time right back. I even think that like team of the year Hakimi, he was down like 40,000 coins yesterday because of the Atal. He's back up a little bit, but you can see this graph. He was like 680, went down about 650. Um, and then a tall came out and he's still down just a little bit, not too much, but a lot of the rest of the market is just chilling. Some cards have gone up a little bit. Some cards have maintained their current value. Um, and they haven't moved too much just because there's not a lot of coins taking, or there's not a lot of content taking coins off the market. It's going to make these cards drop. Um, but what there is, is just new cards coming on the game that, um, people want to try out. And these out of packs cards just continue to, to be rare. And there's really not a huge motivation for people to like just sell cards right now at the moment. But in one area of the market, there are some really, really low prices. And that is right here with the SBC fodder. Take a look again. One um, metric that I've talked to you guys about using is this Mbappe SBC. He's 2 million coins flat, almost the lowest that he's been. He did go under 2 million for just a tiny bid. 86s are 13 to 14,000 coins. 85s are 8K on bid. 88s are in the mid to low 20s. Some of these cards have rebounded back like one or 2,000 coins from their absolute low points. But a lot of this stuff went even lower, right? 25K for Holland. He was 25K multiple times yesterday. So these cards have bounced back a bit. One thing I would say is watch early this morning on Saturday. Some of these fodder cards, if we had the late night lightning rounds, which I'm going to check in like five minutes because they might be starting then if they're going to do them, um, then we might see some of these cards go a little bit lower and then start to go back up. There's a lot of people this weekend that are looking to invest in fodder, which I think it is a good time to do so. There's a lot of people though that are looking to buy this fodder. And there's a lot of people also looking to invest in the current team of the week. A lot of people are excited for this class card as an investment. 20K, I bet that's not even sitting on the market. I know a lot of people that are interested in this card. I understand the basis of this investment, right? He's basically fodder. Team of the week, it's so supplied. He is like the only uh, French right back on the game uh, that uh, is really good, right? He, of course, he has the lower tier in form. If we take a look at the basic chemistry style, there are no classes. There's 23K, that's his lowest. So, you know, he's not 20K like the like Footman would suggest. But all I would say is, yes, this investment and the, the other cards that are in this team of the week, they do look like a pretty solid investment. 
Um, just make sure that you are buying ones um, like, you know, after people start investing in these cards, you're probably going to see their prices go up a little bit. So if you're early to the party, that's probably going to be good. A lot of times team of the weeks are lowest on Saturdays and Sundays. You might have as people as early as like late uh, or early today on Saturday start to invest in some of these team of the week cards as they have gotten to be some of the cheapest cards in packs. And they're, of course, pretty usable, right? Like Hyunmin Sun's 91 rated inform is 119,000 coins. His other 90 rated cards, which have been his best two items before this, I mean, this card even last week was 120K. So his 91 card, which of course has plus two pace and plus two passing on his uh, other inform and is better than his other card here, is already uh, so cheap. So there's a lot of people looking to invest in his team of the week for fodder and for rises out of packs, which I think could happen, but also with all the insane supply with the lightning rounds that EA is running, you just have to be careful and that rise might not take place within a day or two days or three days. So just be careful if you're investing in this team of the week as well. I do think there's some decent buys in here, but just be careful again as we uh, head throughout the weekend and as you have a lot of people looking to invest in that stuff. So again, let's take a look at today quickly. Saturday content, what could we be seeing on this game? I believe this is going to be the SBC we see today. Madueke. Last Saturday, we had the Kaliaguri SBC. I think we're going to have another one today. They'll start off with two back-to-back -back days with player SBCs. This was the second card that was leaked. Now, we do have another leak as well for a player SBC coming pretty soon, and that is this Danielle Malin. Stats are predicted. So this might be like an SBC we see on Monday uh, or maybe Wednesday, something like that later on this week, but that's a pretty dope card. Hopefully, the stats are maybe a little bit better than that, but... Uh, another Dortmund special card, maybe some Bundesliga hype returning if they continue with some of this stuff. And then just because I scrolled past it and you guys are like, what is this? This game is not for a couple weeks, but there was a showdown added between Lyon and West Ham for the Europa League game that is happening in a couple weeks. Um, so this is not 100% confirmed yet. We'll probably circle back this when we get closer to the time frame. Um, but Yarmolenko and Thiago Mendes, that could be a nice little... Showdown SBC that a lot of people would be very interested in on this game. Now, last thing I want to talk about in today's video, and then we'll check the lightning rounds to see if there's uh, if they're going to drop any here in a second. Um, but last thing I want to look at is some leaks that we saw just tonight uh, and into today on Saturday. For Sheriff here says, Big W, we should see a new RTTF mini batch soon. Now, I'm not really sure when this is going to be. He says it's a mini batch, but we got our first leaked player for it. And this is kind of weird timing that he's getting this on like a Friday night into Saturday. Memphis Depay is going to be in the mini batch of Road to the Final Cards. I think they did this last year as well. They dropped like a third team just to kind of put out some extra Road to the Final Cards. But this card looks pretty good. 90s everywhere. You can see pace, dribble, shooting, and passing for a Barcelona live item for Mr. Depay. So this has me curious. If we're getting the leaks for these cards, are they going to be dropping these Road to the Finals either today instead of Man of the Matches, uh, tomorrow with the mini release of the Fantasy Foot cards, or is this not going to be until next week? I really don't know. But if you continue to see more leaks for these cards, just be ready, I guess, and be um, alarmed that these cards could potentially be coming, more live cards coming to the game. So that'd be kind of cool. And since we have a official stat leak, that makes me think that it might be pretty soon. That's just my opinion. We'll see. Um, because when we get the official stat leaks, usually we're a couple days away from these being dropped. So I wouldn't be surprised if these are this weekend, but we will see what ends up happening with those road to the final cards. So that's just one, something I wanted to point it out really fast. I don't know the other cards that are going to be a part of it. If it's a mini release, probably somewhere between three to five players that they would put um, into packs, hopefully covering some of the teams that don't have live items that are still in the competition at the moment. So hopefully we'll see some of that when they go ahead and drop that content. Now let's check for the late night LRs. Bang. Wow. 50,000 of them. I'll say this. I almost guarantee you these do not sell out. Even though they're the 85 plus star packs and people love these, these uh, lightning rounds have not been selling out. I'm pretty sure that every single lightning round that EA put out yesterday, I didn't see all of them, but the first three didn't even sell out because I think people are just right now, it, it's in that time frame of FIFA where they're, they're not spending as many FIFA points. 
I know these cards are cracked and EA is trying their best to get people to spend some money on FIFA points, but a lot of people are not. And I think that's just because uh, they know team of the season is coming or um, you know, they know it's that time of the year where there's going to be some more to come. So they're just kind of waiting uh, to drop those FIFA points if they are going to spend them. So and that's going to be the video for today, lads. I know it's a crazy market. I know you're like, Nate, can I make coins right now? Yes. You just kind of have to trade with the fluctuations. And I think a lot of people are making coins, but they're unrealized gains um, on some of these uh, cards from Team 1 that have risen out of packs. If you're wanting to know when to sell these, I'm not selling them yet unless we have some insane content uh, that's going to drop the whole entire market. These cards are probably going to maintain their price. They're rare out of packs and the games are upcoming this next week uh, or not this next week, but next week after the first of the month that are going to potentially upgrade those cards. So I'm still holding on to all the ones that I bought and will probably just kind of monitor, monitor their prices over, over this next week and see where they go and see what content EA does. But we're just going to sit on it, man. Let them rise. Let them get more rare. And then uh, we'll, we will sell as we get closer to that time frame. That's kind of my thoughts on those. So hope your weekend leagues are going well if you're grinding. Um, and hopefully your just weekend in general is going pretty well. Again, happy Saturday. And uh, yeah, hopefully it's a fun day on FIFA. I will be streaming today. So check that link down below in the description if you have not been there before. But that's going to be the video for today. If you guys did enjoy it, smash the thumbs up on it. And of course, subscribe if you're new. It's been Nathan Foot Account. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace. Thank you.